TikTok shows, videos, robbing videos. So I gotta eat. That's right. That's how the champions eat. Quarter at a good time, y'all. Quarter at a good yeah. time. That's how the champions eat. Yeah, so we can eat eating. Hey, princess. What's up with you? Not much. Just trying to get the people a little update. Tell them what you've been up to. Man, working. Um, as everybody can see, Holy World ENT collab with Street Dreams. And, you know, me and Boss Lady ENT already was together or whatever. So it's just more work now. Bigger shows, bigger platforms, bigger check. I'm just trying to get it. Get the fuck up out of here. You feel like you starting to finally get the record that you deserve? What you saying? I said, you feel like you, you finally getting the recognition you deserve? Yeah, some yeah. Um it's really been circulating for the past two years that I've been seeing it and people also have went back in my files and found old stuff that I did that they sent me when I first rocked with back. A show I had with Lil Scrappy. You know, when they always say, when they go back and find your old shit, they talking about you and you people looking at them. So they went to their background checks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's real. We got a, um, we got a three-day show weekend coming up next month in Miami, down South Beach. Okay. And then I think we got a show right before that. So we just been doing a bunch of shows. I dropped a new video, Kiki, and I dropped that on New Year's. As I was dropping Kiki, in, I was doing a show in Baltimore and filming a whole nother video. Um, picture this. Yeah. So both of those are out. Y'all can link in my bio. Go watch them videos. Get them numbers up. Shit like that. And I'm John Yeah. Excuse me, y'all, if I keep moving the phone, but I'm only moving the phone so I can hear him. I'm in the restaurant. But no numbers up, y'all. Make sure y'all download a new table. What you say? Working on. Now I was letting the people know run them numbers up. Right. Let me type it so you can pin it. Man, it's just I be wanting. I get support in the city, but we be wanting a little bit more support from the city. You know what I mean? Right. That's all. And I. Feel I release those on all major platforms as well so those songs are out go get them she writing it down below y'all i'm about to pen it for y'all mm -hmm. hell yeah Oh, what's up, cuz? Shout out to sleep on that. That's my cuz. Bell life. They know what it is. Um, also, I'm going to be getting back into battle rap. And I will be okay. running. So, my, my homies up New York, upstate, they got a battle league called Hitless Battle League. If y'all haven't checked them out, check them out. I will be running DMV Hitless. So, I will be back battling, back booking battles, throwing battles, all of that. And I got some more stuff coming up too. Um, and I'm thinking about getting my radio show back too. So, oh, yeah, that's going. true. That's true. Yeah, it's going down. So, speaking of battle rap, let the people know like when you start battle rap. Um, I started battle rapping 2016, either the end of 2015 or the beginning of 2016 i know it's the year my mom passed away because i was on my third battle with my mom okay. so 2016 um i started battle rapping as you know i was always that mob before battle rap so that already was what it was and um i started out as a fan and i really like it and i challenged myself do you, do you remember your first battle um, do you remember your first battle yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Um, I was actually booked versus a girl named Kia, but she backed out. 
So my first battle was a back out. But my first time smoking and, and, and smoking the dude was Puff Never Pass. I smoked him up um, Walk a Mill at the park. Okay. Yeah, that was the funniest battle because your first battle is always crazy. It's your right. first time. You don't, you got to get the feel for it. You don't just jump into a battle rap and be, be nah. Mm -hmm. You got to really get the feel for it and be like, oh, okay, I know how to hit him next time or whatever. So, so what would you prefer to say you like more? <laughs> Shout out to my B-Mo man. What you you like going to the studio or battle rapping more? I like both. Um, If you could only choose one. One. I, uh, if, mm, if I had to choose one studio, though, me in the studio right. and, and dropping my music, if I had to choose one, because with the music, you get a track. Oh, shit, I'm on the right to this. You, you you can be creative to the beat. You write, you go record it. Either you know it by heart by the time you get there, or you can play it all day and then you'll know it. But with a battle, it's no beat. It's a cappella. So you really got to be creative and really make them really listen to you. And I know my my me rapping music is way better than my battle rap. You know, but a lot of people are like nah, you you buy it. So you know the one thing I noticed is you got a cult following. It's a cult following. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real, like these people that been with you, they've been with you for a very long time. Like these mm -hmm. are just I mean, it's new people in the mix. But a lot of these people been tuned in. They know you support us. And that's, that's, right what, that's there. what I love. Um, and that's what I'm saying. When I came in and I said, a shout out to Boss Lady Breezy. Um, when I came in, I said, DC need to support a little more. Because, yeah, I have my supporters that been been with it. They're with me. Hey, for boss Lady. But where are the new people? Where are the new fans? Where, you know? Right. But I also got a fan base um, in jail. Could I get a refill on the number? Yeah. Um, I Heart Radio, my I Heart Radio right. moment. You know, I got brothers going over 500 years right now, so they 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 people be on the phone. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. And um, containers. Yeah, so I got a good fan base, but you know, it needs to get it needs to get wider. Because people waiting to blow up in D.C. or waiting to get a million sales to, get, to go platinum in D.C., it's not going to happen. It's not enough people in D.C. Right. You have to go out, out of D.C. And, I mean, and, and, and make it. Man, that's the thing. I feel no. like a lot of people here, like, I don't understand for some reason they like to stay stuck in that element of just staying home. Like, it be so much talent here. And I just be like, why don't you just take your buzz and just go somewhere else? You mix that in like you gonna expand everything you doing times two times three just by moving around you got to try stay right there why not it's right there people act like new york philly and jersey is like you know what i'm saying like like you really going a far distance like you're not going no way to go there that's right there that's what makes it so hard for dmv artists or really dc artists because like i said it's not even a million people that's going to buy your one person song in DC, right. gotta get that from, from uh, the whole 50 states or something like that. You're not gonna get that just in DC, it's too small. It's too small. If it was a city full of rappers or whatever, sure. maybe, but it's so many different cultures in DC and they everything's so close together. That's why people gotta start hitting the colleges, right? You gotta go to all the shows you can't be too big for not saying an open mic everybody outgrow that but you can't be too big to come home and do a show at home too you know you got to stay humble that's how you get your fans and keep your fans and your supporters too I, Being true to them. out of the whole out of the whole like dc what do you think the best open mic scene was growing up i feel like pure lounge was like really pretty Juliano? pure lounge no before all that, we had Juliano's. Okay. People didn't even know we was in Juliano's battling, song for song, verse for verse. Right. And the DJ had cut your verse and let the next person go to the last person left on stage. I was smoking early bar. I had bitches in, look, I had bitches in a Juliano hiding they EV like this. They ain't even want to go. It was like, she finished. Fuck you mean. And also, we had the spot. We had a club called the Spot, Bill Marlboro Pike, with a liquor store at and launch mom. Right. But that was the place to be 
and this is what Big Fella started coming at. Big Fella was one, my, he, Big Fella used to tell me all the time, Prana, you know I'm your number one fan. That boy knew my songs word for word and wind up being bigger than me at one point. You know what I mean? So, you keep it 100? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on live. I don't know who hit that. I told him I need the uh, containers. Can I get some to go it's a go container. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Man. Man. It's going down, though. I am proud of myself. Uh, you know, I do so much. I do a lot. Nah, we proud of you as well. Huh? I said we proud of you as well. Thank you. But I, I have to give myself a pat on the back time to time and let myself know you know i'm i'm you good you're doing a lot don't overwork myself but overwork myself right so i can always have revenue profit i mean you you all you always kept me open-minded about doing a lot of different things so mm -hmm. you know it's been an interesting journey with me you just saying plenty of ups and plenty right. of downs you know i i really want to get back into acting I'm, I'm trying to get me another role or something like that. I enjoyed uh, when I played in that movie, um, Drunken. I really enjoyed that. Um, I want to get me another movie role, too. And keep expanding myself. And I hear that anybody that got some projects, some web series, anything like that going on? Um, you no, know, we got Smoke Road. You know, uh, Smoke Road is a DC slash New York web series out on YouTube right now. We have... Um, Two full seasons, season three on the way. I'm a, one of the stars in that. Um, I play the plugs of fiance. You, you got, I send me the princess plays out, play, plays our daughter. We have over a million views on YouTube. Like, if y'all not tuned in the smoke road, go get tuned in right now. Right now, any battles, OG Pranner versus pull up OG, Pranner, yes, and all the battles gonna come up. I hear that, my y'all guy. Remember that time I smoked the diver. I smoked a vet early in the game, so shit. Hell yeah, but uh, I'm trying to think what else um, what else we had coming up? Because like I said, I done dropped two new videos. I dropped two new tracks. Oh, I'm dropping three projects, three full projects. Um, I don't want to say the name of them yet until I start promoting them. I don't want nobody to take my names and stuff. But I'm going to drop three projects at one time on the same day. Mm. So I hope y'all be ready for that. Uh, most likely, it should drop on Valentine's if everything go good. But uh, So get ready for that, too. New music. Y'all be on the lookout for that. Man, look. I'm trying to show them. Can't nobody outwork me. Right. Ain't nobody outwork me. Ah. You hear me? That ain't going to happen. But yeah, I'm loving what I'm doing. Um, so it's gonna be some new Street Dreams music coming out, new Hootie World ENT music coming out, some collabs coming out. Also, I snatched up a new artist, Michi Gichi. Michi Gichi is from here, but he moved to NY. But he came down about two weeks ago. We went to the studio, I took him to Tizzy Jump, and we dropped a, a fire jump. So we got for that soon too. That's that right. Y'all hear that? It's all about that networking outside the city. Yeah, so, you know, y'all know I manage. I'm an artist, but I manage as well. I'm a creative director. Like, you know, I do a little bit of everything. So, it's just the Leo in me. Uh, Damn food for real. I'm trying to see if that my other artist. I don't know. What's up, Trippy Bands and Mr. Wild Factor? Mr. Wild Factor is a, um, a little battle rapper from here as well. Same man. What's up, bro? Real? What's up, real? Yes. So, um, we got, like I said, we got a show coming up at the beginning of February. Then we got the three-day weekend in Miami. Like, every day is a show that we're in Miami. So, we work at work call. Work call. It's I don't really got nothing. But so I know this just the, the introduction interview. We definitely going through the face to face today, boy. What did you say? I say? You know, we definitely going through the face to face interview. 
Of course, of course. This just for you know. You know, the, just to get y'all some. Yeah, it, let y'all know what's coming up. Algorithms, them algorithms popping right now on my page. <laughs> Man, yeah, I'm just blessed. I'm happy. Um, my son' birthday. Um, Jimmy, my son' birthday is Sunday, so I'm just trying to be happy all week and celebrate my son' birthday and keep making him proud of me. Right. My bad, y'all. Yeah. Hey, everybody that's coming in, coming in. It's your favorite OG, P R A N A. <laughs> so, um, what you got going on? You've been doing a, you've been doing enough interviews lately. Yeah, but I, I, I definitely need more people, you know what I mean, outside the city. So, you know, I'm trying to build off that artists as well. Artists on here, y'all. Oh, the Honcho. My little cousin Honcho, he's an artist as well. Any artists on here, y'all want to get an interview, man, DM my man. Babs, I love you. Shout out to Queen of the Ring. Look, up, how you, look how you hey. And look who popped in, my baby daddy. <laughs> I love you, Babs. I definitely love the interview, Babs, as well. I'm trying to kill something. <laughs> Caution's head on the platter. Bring me Lady Boy Caution. If not, bring me somebody else to be the. Y'all hear that? That's my, my baby daddy. Hey, that's my baby daddy. My baby daddy. Y'all know Babs had to stop the fuck up in this joint and represent for her queen. Y'all know what the fuck it is. So, um, when you drop. In the other the other interview i love you more baby daddy c3 interview all yeah. right now yeah he did he interviewed c3 get with him i'm trying to interview the whole the culture spring. you hear that babs i'm definitely trying to interview <laughs> you as well no uh -huh. that'd be solid yeah so i'm gonna just keep working keep pushing like Nothing can stop me, like for real. Oh, I know that's right. Dad says you cute, bro. Ah. Yeah. Don't make me bring him up. It's no, true. Not even up there. I know where your ass at. I'm, I ain't gonna say nothing though. I know where you at. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at you, bro. See, good man right there. Good man right there. Trying to make a living, make a million. That's all we trying to do out this money. My family um, let's log in. Let's log in. Hit me up. Huh? Not so. Let's log in. Let's log in. Yeah, she Hit me said, up. I mean, handsome. Exactly. Because boy's not cute. She got a son. She going to kick him if they call her son cute. I've been trying to get free on one of these as well. So that's definitely in the you know in the works hope you print a merch coming soon too i bet love you baby daddy yes be safe baby daddy i love you the weather messed up what up for bags appreciate you back in a minute yes we gonna link some that's 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 all big sis i'm telling you look how she's doing nah we about to do some music together too Fuck that. i yeah. sure will do that goddamn bm I, i'm trying to smoke me something i need a little wiener on a stick you hear me you have my baby thing <laughs> That's right. Tell them give us a bag, too. Yeah, they crowded in this motherfucker. I, I, I hear more from hey, Princess, too. Hey, Cousin Queen. Oh, hold up, y'all. I'm spilling my shit. I'm over here messing up. Can I look at the damn screen? <laughs> Yes, y'all. It is so cold. We ran down the street. 
to get in. So, um, anybody trying to get features or anything, y'all better hit me up before I drop this project. I don't know. DM me. Anybody need their hair done? Wigs? Sewing? Quickly? One, one stop shop. That's crazy. Break, anything, anything you need. Anything you need. Show me the picture. You're going to leave with your hair looking like the picture. That's on my mother. Anything. Hit me the fuck I up. I might need you a double my joint soon. I got you. I got to do some wicks one day this week. I don't know how I feel about them jones though. Nah, so you, it's get some, you, should, you could get some wicks. Then head thin. I don't know. That's heavy. Nah, nah, nah wicks not heavy. Wicks lighter than dreads. Bro. It just wicks looks like they be heavy. So you put like three like, of these together. That's that's like, like five, it's it's together. <laughs> you put them together. It's lighter. So it's one instead of eight or five. Right. It's one. Right, right. Even when I when I when I do them, like they're light. They're not heavy. They're not, they not have so it. funny. I'm a daycare teacher. I don't know how they gonna feel about that. <laughs> Your teacher just coming in wicked out. Like, oh, I start back. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys start back playing the music, playing the artist music and stuff, and, and um, doing more, more, more interviews here. I, I'm I'm working on uh, getting the soundboard right now. Once I get the soundboard, that's definitely going to enhance the interviews a lot. Cause okay, I want to be able to, you know what I mean? That's certain uh. Her samples and stuff go doing the interviews. Mm -hmm. See when you finish with the little. When you get the food from my pig, you gotta take your little plate and put it down in the little thing, <laughs> so they can count them. I like your honey. <laughs> Daddy, looks sweet, don't it? Uh huh. What's up, AP? Uh, AP was a um battle rapper too, um from Capital Battlegrounds as well. Remember when he took the change out the dude's pocket, or he took the headphones? You don't remember that viral video clip from Capital Battlegrounds? Princess calling Goop Gangsta Delicious, and AP's clip was the most viral clip that that put Capital Battlegrounds on, like that made everybody start looking. We had Shug. You already know I had I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and look that John yeah. up though. That's a uh, AP versus um Hollow. Oh, when that nigga put oh, his I, mean, I, I keep the keep the John right here in my hand at the same time. So. AP AP versus Hollow. It was just Hollow, wasn't it? He ain't had Hollow to nothing on his name. It was just Hollow. Yeah. That battle like seven years, six years old. Hello to Don. Hello. Or just hello. Yeah, I think it's just hello. What's up, B? Why South B? So I'm just waiting to get back in the um back in the ring with some battles. That's the only thing that I'm missing right now because everything else I've been taking care of. Once I get back in the ring, I'll fix that. You got, you got any people that you might, you know what I'm saying, specifically want to battle? They've been on your list for a while? The bitch I beat up, I want to battle her. The bitch I beat up in the Bronx, I want to battle her. Little bitch that got a ghostwriter that, that suck dick for bars. I want to kill her ghostwriter and her. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. She was about to bomb on that. I hope they don't count them as him. Because he put all the place down there. Wow. I said, I. Yeah. Um, hey, hey, how you? Hey, 
Everybody doing my thanks for the love down below. Appreciate Sub to the link in my bio. I need more subscribers. Sub to the link in my bio. You gonna put the video on your bio? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna put the video out as soon as I chop it up. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, do that, do that, do that. What's up, Bonnie? Make some shorts, all that Bonnie. good. Man, look. I love my city. I just want to say this. I love my city. I love my town. Anywhere I go, I got my city on my back. And anybody can tell you that. Any battle I ever had, I represented D.C. Any show I ever had out of town, I represented D.C. I don't go nowhere and act like I'm from somewhere else. I'm always D.C. Sure. Always. And nobody can never play with me about that or any of that. They can never play with me about that. Uh, Give her the card. Could never. So, I'm always rapping my town. I love my city. Um, I do be receiving my flowers. I ain't gonna lie about that. But we do need a little bit more support, y'all. I mean, how would we make it without our supporters and or fans and all of that doing? Just sitting there looking. Y'all need to start coming out to these shows more. Yeah. Come hit that damn video. We gotta support shoots. more. Oh. We gotta do more for our artists. Private video shoots. My video shoots be open. I'm not hiding from nobody. I'm not ducking nothing. My video shoots be open. All you gotta do is DM me and say, OG, where's the video she at? I wanna pop out. And I'm gonna give you the Addy with the media set and you in the video. I have no problem with putting people on and putting people in positions. That's just me. That I'm the OG. Be honest about that, y'all. They know I'm a real one. When the winning battle rappers do background checks on me after we have battled, you know what they say to me? Oh, I did a background check. You is who you say you is, cause I I I, I know some people. I right. heard some shit. Oh, you is the OG in the down DC. Yes, the fuck I am. I can't nobody take that from me. Proud owner of it. Proud owner of it. What's up, me? Yeah, so. Oh, you know, my, my, oh, you know Nick too. What's up, Nick? Mind my business, drink water, eat good. You hear me? That's rude. Fuck that. It's cold yeah. outside. I get princess in his woo. Yeah. Oh, they just now. You heard me, from, uh -huh. from, I gotta get princess in here too. Yeah, you gotta get princess her interview, man. You know she's smoking shit. Um. Y'all make sure y'all go check out my daughter battle. YG Princess for versus Free Montana. My baby smoked the. How old was you? Yeah, I, 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 I watched that quite a few times. So. Yeah. She told that nigga. She said, Kels, you should have made this one round. Nigga, you look wary. How old you said you was again? 15. Nigga, you look 30. <laughs> we went the fuck. Oh. Princess like that. No, I'm alias with this gentleman. I'll be behind neek, the scenes, man. Neek, 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 neek. Three daughters, man, you know. Right. You gave him the car. Busy with the kids a lot. What you say? Nah, I was selling. I said, you know, I'll be alias, you know, three kids. I, it, take, it take a lot it, out of me with them little girls it, of mine. It, it seems like when you have a page and don't nobody know it's you, you get more likes and views. When they find out it's you, then they be like, oh. That's that person. All right. And get All right. Sometimes it's better to just, you know what I'm saying, stay cognito. You hear me? Uh -huh. Sometimes it's better to stay cognito. Just, you know. Yeah. Always. Always. Oh, y'all need any knit work? My sister do knit. My sister custom making knit clothes. She made me this mask. Oh, that looks sweet. Anybody need a knitted mask, knitted pants, knitted whatever, scarf, whatever, let me know. Look how she put the little girl with the hair on in. A weed plant. A microphone. Peace sign. That Glockiana. The, the little girl with dreads. Man, this don't like that. My sister like that, y'all. Yeah. Hanged out stitches. Y'all can DM me if y'all need any custom-made 